create your A2X account, come to a2xaccounting.com and click try A2X for free. You'll then be asked which channel you would like to connect first. If you have multiple channels you need to connect, you can add those later, but start with your first channel. I'm gonna start with Amazon. You then have options of how you'd like to create your A2X account. The first is using Google. Do keep in mind, you don't actually have to use a Gmail account to do this. Uh, essentially, it's a way to use your email address. Another option is to continue with Zero, which uses Zero to create your A2X account. For whichever method you use to set up your A2X account, complete all the steps and then you'll land on the A2X homepage. There are a few steps to get connected and set up, so I'll take you through those steps now. Step one, connect accounting software. You have a few different accounting software options that you can connect to A2X. In this example, I'm going to connect to Zero. You're then presented with two options. Select an existing organization is the first option. So this is if you've already connected A2X to your Zero account before, then you should select this option to share that connection. The second option is if you've never connected to Zero or if you want to connect to a different Zero organization. You then go ahead and click connect to Zero. You'll then be prompted to log into your Xero account. And then from there, within Xero, you will be able to select which organization you would like to connect to. That will be an option if you have multiple uh, Xero accounts within your Xero login. A2X will then form the connection and pull through any relevant data. The next screen is you'll be prompted within A2X to select which account you would like to connect to. Again, I'm gonna select this option. And that's it. The next step is to connect your e-commerce channel. In this case, I'm going to connect Amazon. You have two options when connecting to Amazon. The first option is if you have access to the account yourself, say you're an admin user. The second is if you need to request access. For example, if your colleague has access to the Amazon account, but you don't, or if you're an accountant and you need to request access from your client. I have access, so I'm going to select connect. The next option is to select your primary marketplace. Keep in mind that if you do sell on different marketplaces, for example, if my primary marketplace is United States and I also sell on the Canadian marketplace, by selecting my primary marketplace, these orders from Canada will also flow through too. There's more information on the A2X website about how the different marketplaces work. So I'm gonna to select to the United States and click connect to Amazon. You will then be prompted to log into your Amazon Seller Central account. And from there, you'll just need to authorize A2X to access your Amazon account. The next step is to map your accounts and taxes. So go ahead and click on this button. From there, you'll be taken to the mappings page. Now, the first time you visit the mapping page, you'll be prompted to answer a few questions. This is so A2X can suggest the recommended settings. So the first is my main country of business. I'm gonna go with the United States. Then whether I'm registered uh, and collecting or remitting sales tax, I'm just gonna go yes. If you're registered in any other countries, you can select those from the dropdown. Uh, in my case, I'm gonna go none. I'm then presented with two options. So I can either go with the assisted setup, which is where A2X will create the default accounts for me, map all of my transaction types, and also apply the relevant tax rate if that's applicable to my setup. The other option is the custom setup, which essentially means you map your own accounts and taxes. If you are going to go with this option, you could instead start with the assisted setup uh, to do a lot of the work and then customize it from there, but you've really got two options. So I'm going to go ahead with the assisted setup and click review. I then see a list of the accounts that are being created for me. So all of these Amazon accounts will be created in my chart of accounts within Zero. Awesome, so there I'm taken to this page here and I can click view settlements, which will take me back to the main homepage ready to view uh, my first settlement and get ready to send it through to Zero. The final step is to post and reconcile. So I'll go ahead and view my settlements. Essentially what I'm gonna see here is a list of all of the data that A2X has pulled through and I can see it's been grouped into settlements. So I'll click on this top one to review it. Here, if I click on this drop down, I'll see the entry that A2X is gonna send through to my accounting software, uh, through to zero. So I can see here that this amount will have been deposited into my bank account, the 803.91. And here I can see how A2X has broken down all of these different transaction types for me. And I can also see the value and I can see the account that that will be posted through to within my zero. So I can click send to zero to post this entry through. 
The next step is to log into your Xero to reconcile the payout. So I've logged into my Xero and I've come to my, the bank accounts and I've come to the bank account that I received my Amazon deposits from. So I've come into the banking screen and have found the deposit from Amazon. I can see here the 803.91 and I can also see the entry through from A2X here. So all I need to do is click OK and that payment is reconciled. A2X has a bunch of support articles to help you get set up. And if you get stuck, you can reach out to the team via the chat function at the bottom of the screen.